So the latest hustle coming out of Detroit City Hall, uncork everybody's property taxes in the state of Michigan to ignite development in the city. Mayor Mike wants to increase taxes by 50 bucks on vacant lots like this. And then he wants to cut taxes by millions on skyscrapers owned by billionaires like this. And that's supposed to create billions of dollars in development. But how, Mike? Look at the skyscrapers we've already paid hundreds of millions of dollars for in Detroit. What a joke. So desperate to cover the failure of the mega welfare to billionaires, the mayor, the governor, and the billionaire himself had a ribbon cutting ceremony. And after decades of use, it was left to decay. But today, it is opening with over 200 apartments, a hotel, an event space, multiple restaurants. This will be critical in the new chapter for the city of Detroit. Downtown Babs ain't buying. Is it done? No, it's not. They still have more work to do. What about that up there? What about that? Well, what about that? What about that? What about that? And what about that? And what about that? And what about that? And 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 that? So where'd they get this lame brain idea? A study of 17 podunk towns in Pennsylvania that was paid for by the billionaire. Here's Evansburg, Pennsylvania. Here's Titusville, Pennsylvania. Now they want to play with your property taxes, Michigan. Remember, those taxes pay for schools. And here's a school in Duggins, Detroit, with a crack house right across the street. Take down the drug house, please. They say a man's home is his castle, but the money mob and his henchmen want to penetrate the walls. I say, throw him in the moat. You know what I hear a lot? Charlie the Duck Newsman, I thought you were dead. I'm not dead. I'm doing the news, the real news, right here, the No BS News Hour. You can find us on YouTube, you can find us on Facebook, Odyssey, or download it wherever you get your podcasts. Power the people.